Howdy, friends. Y'all ready to see another plant that may be growing around you if you are in my region, which is the southeastern United States. This is early in its growth cycle. See, these are fairly small. This is ironweed, and these are going to get way taller than me by end of summer, and they're going to have beautiful, bright, purple little blossoms on a uh, big flower head right on top of them. And ironweed was used a lot in Native American medicine. The Cherokees used it around here. Let's see if I can find some other samples of ironweed that you guys can look at. Here's another really nice specimen of ironweed, fairly early in the growth cycle. Ironweed is called such, some say because when the flowers uh, turn and dry, they're the color of iron, and others say it's because the root, which was often used for medicine, is so sturdy and hard that it's really difficult to get out of the ground, so they called it ironweed. This one right here is already as tall as I am. Some of these things get to be eight or 10 feet tall by the end of summertime. And there are several different varieties of ironweed. I can't remember the names of all of them, but I think they all basically do the same thing. They say that the Indians would even use the leaves, chew the leaves as kind of a, like a nicotine sort of thing, even though they don't actually have any nicotine in them. Here's a whole little crop of them getting started over here in the shade. And I'm told that one of the universities in Hawaii has been doing studies on ironweed to treat breast and I think brain cancers. Shh, don't tell anybody though. We can't have anybody knowing that mother nature knows how to cure cancer, shh. This one's shooting up through a bunch of blackberry bramble here, but it's ironweed, so it's strong, it can do it. And I'll show y'all how this, is, this plant looks as we go on through the growth cycle this season, but I just wanted to show it to you as it's getting going around here because ironweed is everywhere and evidently it has lots of benefits like so many of Mother Nature's wild medicinals and edibles. And as the plant matures, it starts to get kind of some purpley stripes on the stem to help identify it too. Let's see if TikTok leaves this one up because again, I have the audacity to tell you guys that there's free medicine growing all around you. The nerve of me.